my goal by the end of this video is to convince you to go to Greece. And we are starting in the Acropolis. We start out in Athens, classic, of course. There is just so much to see here. If you're into history and stuff like that, you would just go crazy with the Acropolis and everything. So that's the major thing that we checked out first that you'll see here is the Acropolis. It's crazy to think that these things have been around for 3,000 years. Like, I can't even wrap my head around that. They're constantly doing reconstruction. They're renovating it and stuff? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's so cool. Whoa, I almost tripped. Holy. Holy. Fortunately, the Acropolis did take quite a few hits in the past with the wars and things like that. So I understand it and I'm practicing to speak it better. Mom, as a purebred Greek, how do you feel about seeing the Acropolis? It's very moving. So cool. Yay. Vio gates. Two cats. This orange juice literally tastes like it was squeezed like two seconds ago. Hey, you're not supposed to be in here. This is the church where my yaya and papu, my grandparents, got married. There are so many churches throughout Greece. It's just crazy. The saying is you can't swing a cat without hitting a church. So you'll just stumble upon them everywhere, but they're gorgeous. Hey. Aww. So cute. Our hotel has the cutest kitchen ever. Like, look at this little microwave. Whoa. And the fridge. Oh, how do you open it? Oops. Oh, you actually don't use the handle. What's really nice about our hotel where we stayed in Athens was it was right in downtown. So everything was pretty much within walking distance. So this means we didn't have to pay for a taxi or rent a car or anything like that. I could not imagine renting a car in this busy city. But the breakfast, this was my favorite breakfast out of any place we stayed. It was so authentic. Everything was homemade from the Greek yogurt to the breads and it was just really, really good. This is authentic Greek oh, yogurt grab the milk, that'd be and good. Greek honey. Wait, so this is literally Greek yogurt from in Greece. <laughs> so good. Damn, look at how nice this place is too. Why is that so creamy? <laughs> that is it's amazing. So I was in complete shock by how different the Greek yogurt tasted than the one I'm used to eating here in Canada from the grocery stores and even the eggs and the feta, just everything is so fresh. Another really cool thing about Athens is there's lots of bakeries everywhere, lots of different shops. You can just go walking for miles and miles and there's so many things to do around. So we're currently on the way to Hadrian's Library. Hadrian's sure. Library is an archeological uh, site to visit when you come to Athens. Oh, that sounds Adrian, nice. Adrian. Guys, cookies. And ice cream. Oh, it's so beautiful in there. Another really cool thing is they have a lot of really nice jewelry shops. You can get really cute things for under five euros, so that's a huge plus. Also, if you haven't noticed by this point, you're gonna see a lot of food and a lot of animals because I love them, so there you go. Now we're going to the Acropolis Museum. If you're into museums, you would go crazy for this. I'm not too, too big on them, so, but that's just me, but it was still really cool. National Museum of Acropolis. Nice. Oh, there's an, uh, an upper level. It's a new one. I didn't realize how popular gelato would be in Greece. They actually don't have like regular ice cream. It's all pretty much that creamy, nice consistency. It's so good. Highly recommend hazelnut. This is the Greek parliament. It's really cool because every hour on the hour, the changing of guards takes place. Again, looking at the shops, I just want to show you guys what it looks like right in the heart of Athens, the kinds of things you'll see, what kinds of cute things you can buy. I love those dresses and just so cute. Mel, show them what you got. 
Look at that little pendant. Oh. Yeah, evil eye to keep the jealous people away. There you go. It's, it's crazy how different Greek food is in Greece than it is, you know, in North America. Like, it's just, I can't explain it. You have to just go and have it for yourself. You'll notice a huge difference. It's it's just to die for. That's all I can say. The desserts off the hook. Okay, if you haven't had kadi for your baklava before, mm, we got doing some authentic Greek donuts. I'm really excited about. Wow, that's a big boy. Mmm. Where are we going now? Santorini. Yeah. To get from island to island, we took a plane there, which is just like about an hour long ride, so not long at all. For one of the islands, you'll see we took a high speed ferry, but it's just quicker to fly. So that's what you're seeing me doing here. And now we end up in Santorini. Oh my gosh, I love Santorini. It's just the classic sugar cube buildings that you see in pictures and videos and stuff like that. The views and the people were really nice there. I liked how we had our own little nook in there, and the room it was just really unique. Bro, I love how it's like our own little nook, and that view so nice, so special. It's Where are so your lovely. little kids? crazy how friendly all the stray cats are. I was not expecting it, but they just treat the humans well, the humans treat the cats well, it's great. View from this restaurant that we ate at was absolutely breathtaking. You could see all the nice buildings with the water right behind. It was just unbelievable. Wow. Let's do a little fry taste test. Oh my God. Interesting because the seafood comes in its form. So you see, like the whole squid. If you get a fish, you'll get the whole fish with the bones and the skin and everything. So you gotta kind of work for it. It's a little bit different. Wow. Wow. And you guys are getting one of these by yourselves? Yes. Wow. Oh my god. I spilled. Which one's a hazelnut? Mm. Oh my god. Wait, wait. We are just waiting for the catamaran to come pick us up and we're going to go around to Santorini and it is taking us to Hot Springs where we get a What's your favorite part so far, Mel? Probably talking to the people. Nice. Oh my goodness, there's so many, it's so hard to say, but I'd have to say the gastronomic euphoria that I've been in. <laughs> Yeah, the, the food's day. really good. <laughs> honestly, I changed I mean, my mind. To honestly, food. I'd have to say the Greek yogurt. <laughs> you gotta get that protein, the feta, and just the people are extremely nice. And how are you finding spending all this time with your sister? Love it. Oh, couldn't be happier. The most I'm important sorry. thing. <laughs> well, you better tell her that. <laughs> the fish is your favorite the fish part. Is most delicious fish in the world. Wow. Up top, Alexandros. Up top. Catamaran tour was honestly my favorite part of the trip, I would have to say. They took us to these hot springs where we could go and swim out and feel that warm water above volcano. And then there was another spot where they told us to jump out. It was cold, but we went snorkeling. It was really cool. And the food was amazing. I was surprised by how good the food was on this boat ride. Something really cool about Sandrine I didn't know was that the whole island is actually a volcanic rock. So in the last 400,000 years, the Santorini volcano erupted over a hundred times. So it's just crazy to kind of think about that and wrap your head around it. And there's red sand beaches from the volcanic rock and the hot springs. So a lot of cool things. Our hotel in Santorini was a bit farther from all the action, but you can take a bus or a town if you want. I know this video is different than the other videos that I normally post, and I talk a lot about having a healthy lifestyle, being happy, being confident, stuff like that, but I also want to emphasize having fun. And when you get the opportunity to have fun in your life, you should take it very seriously. And if you guys don't know this already, I am Greek, so it's really nice to be able to come and see like where my family was from and stuff like that. So yeah, 
that. I really hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Lots more to come. The joke is if you don't get hit by a car while you're in Greece, you're winning. And it is so true because there's just cars and buses going everywhere. There's no rules. We actually saw a bus crash into a woman on a moped. Luckily, she was okay, so it's all good. But it happened right before our eyes, so just be very careful. So unlike in Canada, here you're allowed to just drink booze on the street. <laughs> Cops don't care, eh? Anita. Hola, Anita. They're all good. Which means it's all open. It's a free-for-all. This is the hands down best dessert place in all the places that I went in all of Greece. Lukumam. The best Lukumades, those donuts that you saw me eating before. Oh my gosh, amazing. I'm trying. Oh my God. This is like Noah's Ark. A bit disorganized on this high-speed ferry. They basically loaded everyone on. They closed the door and the thing's still running. They don't process anyone. Nobody knows what the fuck's going on. And we didn't end up getting up to our seat until there was only like half an hour left of the ferry ride. So it was kind of disorganized, but a fun experience regardless. And now we are arriving in Kriti. Wait, so it's a Suzuki? Suzuki. What's it called? Oh, this is our rental car. And look, it's a cranker. Oh my goodness. I've never tried one of these. Oh, the front ones are Oh, it's kind of satisfying. Why? How is this? The front this a, ones are power. How is this? That's funny. How is this like a newer vehicle, but it has these? Crete is a really big island. It's the biggest one in Greece, and it's actually the fifth biggest in the Mediterranean. So it's a, it's a big boy. <laughs> Now the summers are quite hot, but the winters can actually be pretty cold and wet in this uh, in this island. It actually snows, so that's pretty crazy. <laughs> we're only in Crete for about four days, and a lot of the locals were telling us like, "Hey, you need at least a couple months to actually fully experience it." And I can say that definitely is to be true. Like you can cover a good amount in you know a week or so, but there's just so many different beaches, different towns, like. It's so big that there is a lot to do. There's a lot of hikes, a lot of caves. So I love the diversity and how there's everything for everyone here. Every single hotel we stay at, there's always gotta be a little kitten. That one looks a little bit scary though. Is he friendly, Mel? Is he friendly? Oh, he's friendly. Oh, he's, oh, he's rubbing his head on me. He really loves you, Mel. <laughs> It's really funny because me and my sister didn't really care for cats <laughs> before coming to Greece, but now we're just like obsessed. I can't pet them too much because I'm allergic, but just like, they, they love her, they love her, you know? <laughs> but this hotel was really nice. So we got the package where breakfast and dinner was included. You're gonna see all the dinners that we had. The food was unbelievable. Like it was actually insane. They changed the menu every single Day, so it wasn't, you know, like the same thing over and over again. It was super, super good. How do you feel about this room? Oh, this is amazing. And each dinner included an appetizer, a salad, a main, and a dessert. So it was a lot. Greek salad has like no lettuce, eh? No. It's literally you have to just say tomatoes. Prasini. You have to say prasini salata, which means green, green salad. Oh, so this is literally just like tomatoes, this is cucumber, this is peppers. It's a village salad. Traditional, well, in Canada, they call it a village salad, but it's not a village. Oh this is God. Greek gonna notice that sometimes I ordered you know out of the ordinary things because I really just wanted to try a diversity of different foods so I got this like beef stew on top of fries which was amazing my dad got fish as you can see there and here we are just driving through Crete. I have a lot of driving clips here because it's just everywhere you look out the window it's beautiful it's it's just breathtaking Right year old tree. Yeah, look in there, 900 year old olive trees. As you heard, it is home to some of the oldest olive trees in the world. All right, so now we came to Elephanisi Beach. Did I say that right? I'm sorry, I may not have, but it's called the pink sand beach. Unfortunately, there's not so much pink sand at the top anymore. It's not as pink as it used to be, but absolutely beautiful. We made it to the beach. It's, it's refreshing though. Yeah. Is it really good? Traditional Greek moussaka. It's not really Greek, it's more so Italian, but still busting. Now we're making our way to a town called Elunda. Definitely one of my favorite little towns. It was just so cute and had so much culture and character. We're in Elunda and Crete. 
it's just really nice to honestly just walk around these little towns, talk with people, get a real sense of the area. And I loved how we could just walk right by the water. I think staying in these different hotels in these different islands was definitely worth it as opposed to doing like a cruise where you're not actually staying in Greece. <gasps> So cool. Watch your step, watch your step. Also, something I do recommend, which was very handy, is we did not check any bags. We only did like a small carry-on suitcase, which doesn't seem like a lot, which you know, we had to squish and reuse a lot of clothes, but it's handy because this way you're not like waiting for your luggage every single time you get to New Island and it's really just a lot easier. Okay, mm. like a European superstore. Look at how cool this is. This little red box. Ooh. Why is this so small? What would this be for? Like a little... Oh, for coffee. Coffee? Of course, there's every kind of feta you could possibly want. Oh my. All these different kinds. Chocolates. Ooh, do they have any fun? Oh my gosh, I should get this for Katie. Woo! Like I said, the food at this hotel was unreal. The appetizers were really unique. We got calamari, some fried zucchini fries, a lot of different salads. This burger, oh my gosh, best burger ever. And cheesecake, oh, it's just insane. Next, we went to this place called Matala Beach. So they had a lot of caves you could see on the side there. This was definitely one of my favorite beaches. I liked how you could go and explore the caves. Oh my gosh, whoa, this is scary. It smells like poop in here. <laughs> whoa. Oh. Oh my god, this is kind of scary. Oh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, keep crawling through the tunnel. There's nothing in there. Exactly. And when we got the tickets, they kind of just said, okay, go ahead. But there was like no signs or brochures or anything. You'll hear us complaining about it because like there was nothing telling us like what, why these caves are here. Hey, Mel. Don't we get like, some kind of a brochure or something? No, I think he just kind of, it's a free bro. We did some research and found out that lepers lived here back in the day. Oh. Oh, dang. They must have had to stay crouched down, eh? This is a three room house right here. I'm scared of it. Ow! Oh my god, ow! I just, I just hit my head. I saw that. That looked like it really hurt. Then later on, hippies actually came to Greece and they lived here. And still to this day, they all get together once a year. The festival's actually coming up soon. And they get together and they go back in the caves. So really cool to learn that. So in these shops, it was so random. The guy who was working there just brought out some cherries that he grew and pistachios and some shots. Like the people are just so nice and welcoming. When you go to Greece, getting traditional dishes like moussaka and pastizio, those are absolute musts. Must, must, must. You have to get them. I love this cup that they gave it to you in. Is it good, Mel? Yeah, it's really oh good. Oh my god, shit. I, I accidentally tried, just... Tried oh no. Original. Yo, that's for real. Feta in eggs, absolute game changer. I've been doing this my whole life, but still it slaps every time. <laughs> And some moose on the side, why not? One of the locals told us that this is the first time they've had rain in May in the last 60 years. So that's just <laughs> kind of crazy. Even the airport food is good. Hey, Mel? Now we're on the way to the next plane. Don't ask me what Mel's doing here. But we are making our way to the next island of Roros. So excited. This was my favorite. Oops, that was a little spoiler alert. Sorry about that. <laughs> now we're waiting for our bag. Wait, so they have a coin for 20 cents? Yes. Why? They have a two penny coin too. They have a two cent coin? Yeah. Do you find one in here? That's one. That's, that's two that's cents? Two. So uh, we just discovered that our hotel is all the way down there. Oh yeah. And we had to park all the way up there because there's no like cars. 
So we got a rental car and you can't drive it in this area. So we got to carry all of our lunches down there. Oh my gosh. It's really nice views. It's a cool little tunnel. Yo, this is definitely not the most ideal situation. Oh my god. Um, guys, whew, please tell me we're almost there. I was quite a trek to the hotel, but man, it was worth it. We loved this place. There was two separate rooms. The view was unbelievable. You could see the Acropolis from where you eat breakfast in the morning. So I just loved the feel of it. And it was just walking distance to all these beautiful shops and areas. And it was just perfectly located, honestly. Ooh, the restaurant we ate at was viewing the Acropolis. Here's my mom getting uh, high on some soaps that she bought, quote unquote. And so the food here was amazing. We got some shrimps with some saganaki in there, which is really good, authentic Greek cheese. Those cheese balls, oh my gosh, so good. This I wanted to order a lot of different things so I could try different cuisines even while in Greece and the spaghetti and meatballs was actually really good. I was really happy with it and at night the Acropolis all lit up. It was even lit up like this in Athens as well and it's just so beautiful to look at it especially when it's dark out. Oh my gosh. Yeah lots of shops again in Rodos. We saw this beautiful like checkered cat. He was so friendly. Some cats so like when you stick your hand out and let them sniff some may scratch so be careful but generally I would say like 90% are really friendly. Here's the dessert at the hotel. It was so cute, honestly. And of course I got Greek yogurt, of course. Like that's 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 an absolute must. But I just love the authentic authenticity. Yeah, authenticity <laughs> of the different places that we went and the different hotels when they served us breakfast. Ooh. So this is the medieval fort. I want to say thanks to Mel for filming a lot of clips for me. She did amazing. Appreciate it, Mel. And we just love walking around the different areas. So this was a really, really cute area with so many shops. This place had the best kadayifi ever. And I got a manuri sandwich. Mm. Take a picture of Rhodos. Castle. Wow. This castle was actually really cool. And so Rhodos is not as old as Athens, so the Acropolis is only 700 years old compared to 3,000 in Athena. Here's Mel jamming, literally singing jamming out the window. <laughs> And Rodos, I love because of all the mountain goats. Just always embarrassing myself. You look stupid. <laughs> Bus move. Oh, oh, shoddy. It's a birthday. And this beach was really nice. We just walked down to it to check it out. And it was really nice. It had all the chairs and umbrellas. Look at that chocolate cake. Chocolate cake comes with a dog. It's a whole bunch of donkeys, so you can ride it up to the Acropolis because it is quite a walk. But we honestly felt really bad for them because they're all cramped in this like tiny little room here. We hope that they treat them well but they didn't look overly that happy so we felt really bad but it was quite a walk up to the acropolis it wasn't actually too bad but the fact that the sun was really strong that day did not help but it was a hundred percent worth the walk this acropolis was gorgeous 
made it to the top. Oh my, I'm so surprised they don't have a fence here. Bro, what the frick? This just goes straight. Bro, that little cove. Oh, actually, I walked to that beach yesterday. I actually like this Acropolis better than the ones in Athens, believe it or not, just because the whole scenery of the water right down there, and as you're walking down, there's this little shop where you can get coffee. It's just really nice. They were both nice, though. Don't get me wrong. Oh my gosh, I did not realize the pizza would be so good in Greece. I thought that was like, you know, a very Italian thing. It would be great there, but you can't go wrong, honestly. Anything that you see that's phyllo wrapped feta, feta with phyllo honey and sesame seeds, oh man. Cabbage rolls. This is deconstructed galactobutico, which is an authentic Greek dessert. Never had it deconstructed before, but mmm, and this Nutella cheesecake off the hook. Oh my gosh. Unreal. The sunrise with the Acropolis behind was just so beautiful. We got to take a quick peek on our way to the airport. It was definitely exhausting taking so many different planes, but luckily they're only an hour, so it goes by super, super quick. And then we arrived to the very last stop of Vuliagmeni. So this is a seaside suburb about 20 kilometers south of Athens. And so the hotel we stayed at here was really nice. It was a bit far from the action, so we did have to have to take a cab to, you know, the, the city areas and beaches and stuff like that, but a cab's only like five euros, so it wasn't too bad. Bombastic view. Okay, guys, this is my absolute favorite bakery in all of Greece, okay? Not only was the food good, so I got this really good sandwich you're about to see, but also the desserts slapped, okay? You could get so many different things. I just loved the variety. That to me was mm, so good. Uh oh, but the sesame makes it. There's like cream cheese and turkey. Turkey in there, mm, fire. Peacock! So we got our desserts and we found this really cute park to sit and eat them at, which was really nice. My sister and dad were so tired, so they're just <laughs> sleeping on a bench. <laughs> and this is a lake in Vulag Lag Many. Super nice. About to go to the next one. Oh, they do. Full outfit. I thought it was suitable for Greece with the blue and the white. Okay, this arugula salad was so fire. I don't know how they made it, but it's like balsamic with Parmesan and it was so good. I can't even tell you. <laughs> Does this restaurant give you like Italian vibes? Not really. Not really. Um, no, so this is like, yeah, of course. Oh my gosh, this is like a stuffed. These fries look so good. Those fries are crazy. I know. Yeah. This is Pepito. He's a stray dog, but the hotel takes care of him. He's so friendly. Hey. Whoa, Dad! Why didn't I get that? Mel, you have a new best friend. You love me. That's an end to the video. I cannot stress enough how amazing of a trip this was. And I want to ask you guys, did I convince you? Do you want to go to Greece? If yes, comment down below. Also, if you want to know any restaurant names or beach names or anything like that, put them in the comments and I'll answer it and let you know the names of anything that you're interested. I hope that you guys have a killer day. Bye!